This is a geyser installation in which the water has started coming slower primarily after the overhead tank became empty. Once the overhead became tank became empty and it started again, the water flow started again. There was air bubbles which get stuck in the high points of the pipe that comes from the tank to the geyser causing low pressure. You can see the pressure here is sorry the pressure here is very low the main pressure is nice but the in the pressure here is lower you can see the geyser pressure is very low so how to correct that you have to open the lowest point in the bathroom which is typically this point You can see the water, the, the bathroom, the, the water, the air water is coming from the top, but there are air bubbles, so it is not reaching the geyser properly. The moment geyser gets heated up, it puts up a reverse pressure on the pipe, causing the water to get stuck or hold in the in the pipe. So we will have to open this wall and keep it on for say about 15 minutes. Of, of course, this will there will be some wastage of water. But you can't help it. This use this will have to do it for about 15 minutes till the time the entire pipe becomes free from the air bubbles. So we will just wait for 10 to 15 minutes and then resume. Now you can see the air pockets are coming out of the pipe. This is caused because of a mechanism called air lock. Air lock, you can Google air lock and see. What happens is the, in the upper pipe of the upper bends of the pipe, there are air bubbles or air pockets that get stuck there. Since the air is lighter than water, it does not, it cannot come down. So unless the water is spread with great force, the air air bubble stays there and causes a reverse pressure in the plumbing system. So when the the water has to pass through these are particularly hot water. The hot water put pushes the inlet water back and there is a compression in the bubble causing the air lock. So we have to just open it, keep it on for about 10 minutes and then shut it down till once the water becomes washed and try to, if you, you can also open the wash, washroom, uh, sorry, WC jet also. So as many points you can open, it will be faster. So now we will shut it down. Now you can see the water flow should have restored. Yes, it's not full pressure. So earlier this was just dripping, coming one drop by drop, now it is full pressure. You can see the air, air bubbles are still coming out. You can see that. These are the air bubbles which cause air locking. So once the, all the air bubbles come out, the pressure will be restored. this and this is the geyser installation you can see the geyser is on and now it is hot water is coming out you can still see the noise of the air pockets and bubbles coming so it's a hot water is coming it's a very warm water hot water but let it flow of course this will amount to certain with some wastage of water and possibly electricity also but this only happens if the overhead tank becomes empty and then there is air that gets the, the inlet pipe from the water tank takes inlet air from the inlet so 
So this is the only solution to this. The period of time depends on how much is the length of the pipe from the overhead tank to the your floor or your to the geyser. If if there are if there is just one floor in between, the time taken will be less. If there are many four floors in between the tank and your geyser, then the time taken will be low more. Thank you. I hope this will solve your problem.